What's going on guys? Happy 2019. Um, this is another what sold video on storage units that I purchased guys. So those of you who don't know, maybe you're new to the channel. I do a lot of storage units. I do a lot of dumpster diving. I sell on eBay, Amazon, Macari, Poshmark. I'm a reseller. Um, we do amazing uh, interviews on this channel, really cool videos. So subscribe right below the video. But let's get into this, guys. So I purchased, um, when I purchase storage units, I'm going to try to do three videos on the storage unit. One, at the facility. Two, at my house, so we can go through everything. And you guys can see everything that's in the boxes. And then three, I want to do a what sold video from that unit. Um, and the reason I want to do that, guys, is I want to be completely transparent, show you that I'm not only buying these storage units, but also I'm selling this stuff. So... Um, I've got a lot of tabs open right now. We're going to go through one of the best storage units I purchased last year. Um, it is also the video that went viral. So it's almost 500,000 views on this video. And um, the weird thing is, guys, is um, these videos I'm putting out that are what sold, I purchased a bunch of units pretty much within the uh, really small time period. And uh, so some of these videos, I, I haven't even got all this listed. So every storage unit that I do, I probably only have 10% of it listed. I've got a lot more I need to list from this unit. But this is just some of the stuff that I have sold from the storage unit. We're going to go through each individual item. Um, I've got my number here, guys. So um, only one item will not be on here. And when you watch this video, it's a $300 dresser. I sold that locally. It's solid wood, really nice dresser for $300. Um, so, so far, it's $2,389.85. I had made from this unit. Now let's pop this up real quick. I want to be completely transparent and show you guys. So this is exactly the invoice I received. I paid $540.50 after fees on this unit. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised after I get everything listed on this unit, I'll make probably 10 grand. Um, I'm really confident. So I already made $2,389 and I've got virtually nothing listed from this unit yet. So. Let's go through this. First, I'm going to give you a sneak peek, sneak peek of the unit itself and show you what's sold here. So this was the unit. Let me go ahead and show you. Yes. They want a 48 for that one. Well, even new just helps, even if they're not expensive. Yeah. Look at this. New attacks. It's all new attacks. Wow. Wow. Nice. This is going to be a good unit. Let me show them. I mean, <laughs> Look, we're not even touching the surface yet, guys. I mean, wow, this is incredible. This is going to be such a good unit. I can't wait. It's all fun. Okay, come here, honey. All right, guys, so that was the unit. That's a little sneak peek. If you have not watched that video, go check it out. Um, the camera died halfway through, unfortunately, but it's a really good, really good unit. And that's the dresser that you see there that I sold for 300 bucks. All right, so let's get into this. We'll just do item... Um, you know, each item that we've sold, big and small. All right, so there's no particular order, guys. Um, so I sold this Barbie doll. If you watch the video, well, actually, it's not in the main video because the phone died. But if you watch the second video, the unboxing video, she had a bunch of sealed Barbies, guys. So sold this bad boy, and um, that was one of the first items that sold from the unit. All right, we'll move on to the next tier. We'll just close out the tab as we go. Um, spandex, this was in the unit as well. Um, sold the spandex here, nothing too crazy, just regular old spandex. Sold that. All right. Um, if you if you if you watch the video, there was a bunch of um, older Hallmark uh, Christmas stuff in there. Um, so I sold this little this little bear here. Um, not like a huge amount, guys, but um, bear sold. All right, sold this horse as well. Um, this was another Hallmark um, item here. And I like to take a lot of pictures, guys, as much as I possibly can. So I think it helps with returns when you take a lot of pictures because I have free returns on some of my items. All right, let's continue. So a lot of people like Martha Stewart, guys, especially Martha Stewart back before she got into all that trouble. Um, so this is the Martha Stewart, not like a, a massive amount of money, but still really, really cool. So sold that. Sold the scale as well. 
Um, just an old scale, guys. Um, you know, and again, you want to try to take as many pictures as you possibly can. So I'll try to use white backgrounds most of the time. Sometimes I can't, and I have to use, I'll use like a different background in the very back, but sold the scale. All right, not a huge win, but um, people love old bottles, guys. Um, old baby bottles, so sold these things, only three of them. And those are the original nipples. Honestly, um, they, I, they probably are unusable, but people love these old bottles. Um, so sold that, not a lot of money. All right. I sold these to a viewer. You're probably watching this video and I appreciate you shopping at my eBay store. So somebody that watched that video, um, that storage unit video, she was really cool. Uh, he or she was really cool. I can't remember. She messaged me and said, thank you so much. And uh, so if you bought that from me, I appreciate it guys. Um, but yeah, so this is the um, one of the, now this brand doesn't go for a ton, but some of the older stuff does well. And th these are not like really old, but they're not they're not one of their new lines either. All right, here's another one. You guys are thinking, what the heck? Um, look at this thing. It is old. I don't even know if it has, let's see, does it have the date on there? Um, I don't know if I can see the date on there. But yeah, this thing is older. But people love it, guys. It may not work. It may work, but pe some people love the packaging. Also, um, uh, some movie props will buy this stuff too, like companies that need older items in the background. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, sold this purse here. This also came out of the unit. If you guys remember, there was a box of purses, guys. This is used, um, but in pretty good condition. Um, see, you can see there clearly had some spots and stuff. Uh, but still, I probably sold it too cheap, honestly. Um, I, I didn't realize it was that affordable, but still really, really cool. And so that was another sale. All right. Sold this bad boy, not for a lot of money, but people love um, old irons. It's just simple. This one was missing the front piece. I put that in the ad. Um, I even took a picture of it, I believe. Yeah, right there. So it's missing the front piece, but people love old irons, guys. So that sold. Remember, it's uh, with the dresser, $2,389.85 was so far the profit. But remember, all those new attack clothes, like I've only got about 10% of the unit listed, if that. Um, I just haven't had time to get everything listed. I bought a lot of units that, that week. So this was another Christmas item, not like a massive seller, but another older Hallmark. Um, I thought Ashley would want to keep this, keep this little guy, my wife, but... She did not want him. So, all right. Here is some silverware, guys. This sold for $59.96. Just four pieces. Um, if you remember, there's a lot of silverware. We made over $300, almost $400 just on silverware. And I still have to list some. So, um, I actually took this. I took these pictures at the, my bar. Um, so, that was, I, I just like, you know, they look better than the white background if I just take them at the bar. So, that was a really cool item here. Um, this was a cool set. So a lady messaged me and said if I would sell these individually, um, these replacement bulbs. Her mom has this old set. And I said I can't sell it individually but just because it would take longer to sell. So she actually bought this set. So, I mean, they're good money, guys. If you find these re old replacement bulbs, people will pay good money for, this, for sets like this. So, I mean, just look. I mean, that's pretty good. So that was awesome here. Let me go ahead and make this. I'm making another storage unit video right now on my laptop. Public, so you guys can watch that. All right, so here's another uh, Christmas item. Not a lot of money, 20 bucks, 1996. But, uh, you know, this is really cool. I mean, and I like to... Guys, when I do electronic items, I love to take pictures of the electronic lights on. Um, that way, also, they can't dispute if there's something wrong with it. I can just be like, you know, call eBay and be, hey, obviously the light's on. It was working. And so I love to take pictures with lights on. So, for example, light on, light off. You know, I want people to know it works. So, look at this little cute guy. Oh, man. And these are my photos, guys. I take these photos. I don't do any stock photos. But yeah, he didn't sell for a lot of money, but still, 
1981, $10.36. He probably could have sold for a little more, but... All right, Dr. Scholl's, um, they bought two of them. So this was like 26 bucks for two is what they paid. And she had a lot of the stuff in the unit, guys. A lot of Dr. Scholl's. And one thing you can do, too, is you can make the first... Um, you know, most of the time I'll make all pictures with the white background, but sometimes I'll take the first picture with the white background and then the rest I won't worry about it just for time's sake. But um, yeah, 25 or 26 bucks because she bought both of them. All right, Old Perfume, Old Perfume. Um, sold this and um, she had a lot of this stuff in there. Sold this for 34 36 and it was sent first class, I believe. Yes. Or was it uh, priority? I don't know. Anyways. anyway, I sold this bad boy. All right, look at this cute train set. Santa with the reindeer guys. Sold this. This was in the unit as well. Now, you'd think that this would go for more, but there was already sets on there for, I mean, right around this price. So it didn't go for much, but it sold right away. And I like to take pictures with um, the measurements in there, guys, to kind of give an idea and some close ups. So, sold this bad boy. Went to a new home, 2246. You're thinking, how are we going to get to 2000? You will see, guys. All right. Here's another another cool. Look at this. Sock shoes. This was in the unit. Sold it for 28 Almost 29 bucks. Um, I like to do 25% off. Sometimes I'll do like 15% off depending. But, yeah. This was a really cool, really cool sock. Um, so, sock shoes. So, yeah. This was really cool. I priced this up a little bit thinking it would go. Look at this. It's a beaded, it's a really cool beaded, um, you know, like, you know, like put their makeup, stuff like that in there. But look how cool that thing is. And we sold it for $36.71. Uh, went first class. And so look at that thing. That was really cool. I tried to make as good pictures as possible on this thing. But yeah, this was in the unit. And there's still a lot more of the stuff I need to list that's in the unit. So. This was amazing. Um, you put like your sleeves, you know, if you've got really nice um, shirts and stuff, um, you'll put sleeves. It was made in Germany. So um, this was really cool. They don't go for like a ton, but it was a really cool find. So 30 bucks there. And guys, this unit's only 30 days old. So, I mean, this is all sold within the last 30 days. Uh, people love these bamboo plate holders. I used to have some of these when I was a kid, and they were really cool. Um, so, yeah, these sold not a ton of money, but $18.71. And uh, those are pretty cool. All right, sold an activity scene here. Um, you know, these are pretty common, actually. I thought this would go for more money, but, you know, 40 bucks. And um, I tried to position all the characters really cool so they can see it. Um, I tried to take 12 photos of everything made in Japan. I probably, probably could have got more money for this, but I believe I put it on like right before Christmas. So I was worried that nobody would want it, you know. And all right, here's another. Um, and those of you wondering, my average sale price is right around 33 bucks on this eBay store. So I've got two eBay stores, one public, one not. But um, this is a cool 11, uh, 76, or sorry, 11.96. And just real basic. It's small, but hey, um, you can put like a hot plate. It's like a hot plate, basically. All right, we got these two hallmarks. Um, I don't know if they actually go together, but I put them together anyways, and lotted them up and sold them for twelve seventy one, guys. How cute is that? How cute is that? All right, here's another um, set um, that I sold here for fifty two forty six. This was cool. Um, sold this set here. All right, you guys remember this? I think, yeah, this was on the video, the first video. But basically $40, this was thing was heavy, so I had to put $22.95 shipping on it as well. So, you know, this um, this thing is pretty cool. And I, I took the pictures on the bar as well, so. Another, another uh, bottle here. Uh, perfume bottle sold for forty dollars and um, you know I like to take like a lot of pictures even though it's redundant and a little tip with the perfume bottles is you want to take one with the cap off um, but 
here's the thing. Let's see if it's if it's used, you always want to take it with the scale, because you don't want somebody saying, "Hey, I got it, but it was empty." But then you know when you call eBay, you can be like, "Look, it clearly wasn't empty. I put it on the scale, and it's you know almost seven ounces." So you always want to take the used ones that are not new in the package, and you put a um, put you know make sure that they can see the weight of it as well. And I think it helps it sell too, because they get an idea. Okay, it's not empty. So. All right, we have a uh, house. Little uh, they did. It was this is pretty cool. Look at this guy's. Um, he's on his boat. It's got all the animals on it. It's dated 1998, I believe. Yeah, 1998. So, pretty cool, guys. All right. Ooh, this is the one right here. Egg cooker, guys. Um, you guys, a lot of people were giving me giving me grief on Insta. I know who you are. You guys are giving me grief. Saying this thing wouldn't sell for that much money, but it did. It was sealed, brand new, never used, 1985 egg cooker. Literally, somebody just wanted an old egg cooker. So, you know, this sold for $72. Crazy, huh? That is pretty crazy. Okay. This guy here, just an old Kmart napkin. You know, I don't know. I, here's the thing. I put that on there because I know Kmart's not here anymore. And I figured, you know... Let's put it on there and see what happens. But it sold for uh, 1036, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we got this guy here. Um, sold for 28 dollars 86 cents. Came out of the unit as well. Um, it everything was perfect on this thing. It worked, um, and there wasn't much scratches on it. So it's a portable radio, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, so. All right, so these are Skechers, guys. Now, you're wondering, why did they go for so much? These Skechers went for so much because they were made in Italy. Um, they're, you know, I don't know much about Skechers. Honestly, I was shocked when I saw the made in Italy. See, there it is right there. Uh, but they're made in Italy. Somebody wanted them. They're slip-ons, and they were brand new. They even had the stickers still left on there. That was a common theme with this unit, guys. It was like, you know, they, you know, the lady who owned it just didn't use any of the stuff. It was all pretty much brand new. It was crazy. So, all right, here's another nativity scene, and so uh, this one went for eighty. Or no, sorry, um, I can't remember. I think I took a best offer on this thing, but this uh, this is a pretty cool set. And um, if you look up this brand, they sell extremely well. Um, this there's a lot of them that sell. This one was brand new, never used. It still had like the thank you card on there. I sold that like right before Christmas. So I probably could have got more money, but I just wanted to get it sold. Here's another Hallmark Christmas, guys. A lot of people, they just, they don't, you know, like me. I'm like, ah, I don't want to sell Christmas, but Christmas sells. Especially old Christmas, guys. So got this little cute guy for 20 bucks, basically. 1977 Hallmark. Okay. Now we have a... Just got an offer I got to respond to. Lamb's wool, Dr. Scholl's. People love Dr. Scholl's, guys. Seriously. Um, so, yeah, I got this Dr. Scholl's and um, sold this guy for $12.76. All right, we have some perfume here, guys. A lot of two, $81.56. Now, yes, it did come with the box, the two boxes, but they were. Um, they weren't all the way full, so I basically lotted them up, and uh, somebody paid good money for them. So, and again, um, they weren't exactly um, they were used. So we, you know, they they could have been brand new, but they're I put them as used just in case. So, all right, so sold this Quiznart. So you got to be careful with these things because there back then there was a lot of recalls on on products like this. Um, a lot of these products got recalls, and you got to make sure you're not selling a recalled model. So um, you can Google the you know Quiznart um, you know recall list, and so you can get recall numbers and and then match it to make sure that it wasn't a recalled model because you can't sell recalled models. So, but yeah, sold this thing 110 bucks 46 100 110 46. Didn't go for a ton, but it almost looked brand new, never used. 
and they, they sell. So here's another um, another um, uh, fork flatware sets here, guys. Sold those sell for good money. Here's another set, Reed. They sell for good money. So sold one of those. Remember, there's a lot. All right, sold some per, more perfume, guys. Twenty nine ninety five. Um, these were not, you know, these were not brand new. So at the very end, you notice I put each one of them on the um, scale so I can let them know, hey, you know, even though you can see it, I just like, you got to cover all your bases. So, all right, we have a sermon set here. This was also in the unit, guys. Literally brand new, never used, had the original box. These are my photos, by the way. I took these photos. Um, I always like to take my own photos. I don't like to do stock photos. So, but yeah, sold this set pretty quick, man. This was cool. This, oh my gosh, these toasters are amazing. Seriously, um, this one worked, and um, just had a one little dent, and that was it. But yeah, sold this thing. So they don't go for like a ton of money. You'd think that this thing would go for a ton of money, but a lot of the stuff sells. Um, and you can see it's still really dirty in there. I didn't even clean it out because here's the thing. I did clean this toaster a little bit, but let's say I went in there and like scrubbed it. What am I going to get an extra five, six bucks? Is it worth, you know, an hour cleaning it? No, probably not. So some things I'll clean, some things I'll just put in the ad. Hey, it's dirty. Like, you know, but it, overall it was a really clean unit. So. All right, so a lot of people love this old, um, you know, kid stuff, guys. And uh, this is old J.C. Penny, and uh, yeah, you wouldn't think it'd go for that much money, but you know, people love this stuff. So, all right, all right, sold this. I screwed. Oh, mom actually listed this item. We put twenty pads. It's actually ten pads. Um, so this is a ten ten pad item. Um, so I actually refunded the buyer half on this item because I, I screwed up in the ad, but yeah, people like this old stuff, guys. That was in the unit. Telephone, sold this guy. <clears throat> New in the package. Nothing too crazy. All right, we have some more. We have some more, guys. This sold for $98.95. This stuff goes for a lot of money. Um, so yeah, it's, and it sold quick, quickly quick. And again, you can't see the contents, so you can see I took a picture with it on the scale because I want people to know that there's stuff in there. So Here's another one, guys, jewelry bag. Um, this didn't go for a ton of money, but it's still $18.36. So um, here's Santa, another $15.16, guys. Not too, uh, not too crazy, but all right. We sold another um, set here. This is a three bowl set, guys, for 40 bucks. A lot of people um, need, like, you know, they chip or they break, you know, their set. And so um, they, they need, like, parts. And um, so, yeah, I, this is kind of the, the way I like to take um, in glass. There's a lot of money in glass. There's a lot of money in, in dishware. So I like to take one here. And, by the way, that display thing that you see that's holding it up is actually a book holder. You can get them on Amazon for a few bucks, so it's pretty cheap. But, yeah, you can see here, um, you know, you, you got to take as many photos as you can. But, yeah, that was cool. All right, here's another guy here. Um, was completely sealed. Um, you know, there was the packaging issue there. Um, and I always like in the comments and the, uh, the description to say, hey, please look at all photos because I want to make sure that they see all photos. So here's another set. Sold this for seventy nine ninety six, and um, you know probably they just wanted additional plates, so sold this bad boy, and uh, yeah, you can see there's issues there. So um, they have spots, and um, you know somebody still paid good money for it. So and they they're not too hard to ship, guys. So I'll maybe I can do a video on that, but. All right, so that being said, this was the storage unit. Um, as you can see below, 500,000 almost views on this thing. 
It was a crazy good storage unit. Not like the best I've ever had, but pretty good. Um, and look how neatly stacked everything was. It was it was such an awesome unit. And I only had like 10% of it listed. Um, uh, none of the clothes I have listed, I just started on that actually two days ago. Um, so I've got like, you know, maybe 20 items and clothes listed. A lot of that was clothes. A lot of that was books. Uh, oh, I already, uh, I guess I forgot to say, I did take the books and send some into Amazon. Um, so I forgot to include that in the amount, which was 2389.85. So I basically, the way that it works is I'll scan them. Um, I'll send them into Amazon if they're worth money. If they're not worth money for Amazon, um, I'll take them to a local um, place here that uh, is a local bookstore, and he looks through them and scans them. And if he doesn't buy them, um, then you know you can basically sell them cheap locally, or I'll donate. And um, so I sent some into Amazon, and then I also made seventy-seven dollars and some change. Although we spent some of that on the way home getting ice cream, but whatever. Um, seventy-seven dollars. I forgot to add to this total. So I mean, I guess we made. You know, 20, uh, 2400 bucks on this unit so far. But yeah, it's been a great unit. Um, oh, crap, I forgot. Sorry. Um, so you notice that there's a bed um, set back there. Um, I can't even show you. Actually, I can show you on here. Let me give me two seconds. Let's see. I forgot. I made another $500 on this unit. Um, man, how did I forget this? Wow. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Um, let me see. What I can... Here we go. So I sold this Jenny. Um, oops. I sold this set for $337.46. So I don't know if that's going to show up there. But um, that was the bed frame set that you see there. Um, it's an old set. Yeah, and I sold it for $337.46 with $96.98 shipping. So, I mean, obviously, guys, remember, this doesn't include eBay fees. This doesn't include shipping fees. I'm just telling you what we sold it out. That's a given, right? I mean, there's fees to uh, to selling. Um, but I sold that set for another 400 So, I mean, we're close to, to 3000 so far in profit, which is really, really cool. So... All right, guys, until the next time, I'm going to try to always do recaps. I want to be 100% transparent, show you guys that this stuff is selling, um, or at least that I'm recouping the money on the units. I mean, that's the most important thing, right, that I pay for the unit and that my time. Those of you who don't know, I own my own box truck. I spent a lot of money on that thing, and um, all I need to pay for is gas, labor, and obviously time it takes to take the item and put it online. you got to incorporate that, too. Uh, but other than that, dump fees are uh, are free for me because my brother owns a construction company and I throw it all in there. It's a roofing company. So really, it's just the price of the unit, time, and um, you know the time it takes to, to process the units, clean the items, put them online, ship them, you know that sort of thing. So it's been a fantastic year, guys. 2018 is going to be amazing. Hopefully, you like this video, and I will keep you guys updated on some more videos. Subscribe if you're not already because we've got a lot of storage unit videos coming out in the near future. All right, guys. See ya.